everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i have a tutorial for you on this green ish teal green green uh smoky eye using the viseart dark edit um i've been just going through my collection not buying things <laughs> and um trying to just dig out things i haven't used in a while or that i don't use very often and doing things where i can play with makeup more because i'm stuck at home i don't know if you've heard but there's like some weird virus going around um and i just thought that maybe we could use a distraction um unfortunately although i will be able to work within the uk because i've traveled recently and a lot of the other girls have as well there are some clients um for me certainly my job is definitely affected as many others will be um, especially if you're self-employed so there are a lot of clients that are saying they won't um have girls into the studio that have traveled um within the last eight weeks some are saying the last two weeks so it is a really scary time for everyone and i just thought um you know you still have the power to do things that maybe you don't have time to do during your normal week so not only would i really like to remind you to volunteer to help those around you that are in need or can't get out to shops um that are worried that maybe do have family but don't have family very close and just be kind to one another um but i would also like to encourage you to like i'm making the most of um, having more free time by scheduling uploading and doing a load more kind of creative makeup stuff and in fact doing the same on my reptile channel if you haven't checked that out link up here somewhere and in the down bar um this is a time for you to read more and do those things that you don't normally have time to or spend more time with your kids so stay safe support one another um you know how awful what's going on apologies if any of you have experienced a loss due to this coronavirus um it's really sad thank you thank you thank you to all of our nhs workers healthcare workers out there people that are volunteering people that are helping each other out um you know those on the front line um i myself my um best friend is a paramedic i you know know a couple of doctors on instagram um my partner's brother is in fact an a e doctor so you know these guys are putting themselves at risk and are probably likely to get the virus at some stage so look after everyone um but also i encourage you to make the most of maybe the time that you didn't have before today is going to be a little tutorial um as i was saying using the dark edit as because i have more free time i'm going to be delving into and uh, doing a lot of kind of shop my stash um i've also had a few requests so i'll be doing a bridal tutorial um i have done a few weddings recently so i might do kind of a more uh, full coverage or glam version and then I might do a more kind of natural quite achievable you know a little bit more kind of my style of makeup as well um Fizzy Art palettes are a little bit expensive they are excellent for pros um this one I did have a little bit of trouble with this khaki color which I have many of the other palettes and actually I've never really had a problem um the other colours, all these shimmers and stuff are really beautiful anyway. Um, it's a little bit of a darker palette. don't normally wear dark colours because normally I'm going to castings or something. You guys know I'm more of a natural makeup person anyway, but I thought this could be a little bit fun. So if you'd like to take your mind off the current scenario, um, then let's get to it. If you have similar colours, then pull those out and let's get going. So as you can see, I already have one eye done. So what we are going to do today is just do the other eye for you. Um, I really wanted to use the um, Viseart Dark Edit. It's one that I bought and I love, 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 love the colours in it, as I said. Um, but because they are much darker, apart from that like beautiful pop here, and I guess these these are kind of medium tones, um, the overall look of the palette is really dark and I don't normally wear really dark colours on my eyes um so i thought we'd just have a little bit of a play today um so i've done this one i i love greens and just like kind of my blue one i did a few weeks ago i don't um use them often enough so i've already primed my lid and what i've been using lately is the um, revolution pro eye elements eye primers they are really similar to the maybelline ones and really similar to mac paint pots which i have tried to kind of replace basically i'm aware i've got loads of them because i use them for my kit and i just i you know was one of those kind of mac whores when i first started doing youtube um but they're not cruelty free and so when i've been using things up that aren't cruelty free i've been really trying to replace them um 
so that's what I've primed with. I'm then going to go in with, and this is where you may want to do your base makeup first. I actually don't find the fallout from these bad at all. Um, but I'm just going to start with this green. And we're going to be placing that kind of on the inner corner and the outer corner and then taking it through the crease. Um, so if you feel like your management fallout maybe is not the best, I would do your base makeup first. So I'm just taking a bit and I'm pressing it into this area to reduce the amount of fallout. And I'm using one of my Vela U, this is their blending brushes. These are really nice and soft. And then I'm passing it into the outer corner as well. Don't worry, this will look absolutely shocking for a while. And then it will come together at the end. So I'm then taking this through the crease as well and we're just going to build this colour up a little bit and keep blending it out. This is one of those things where you start it and you can see like the shadows sticking to the base and stuff and you start to panic. Do not start to panic. Um, just like this week with coronavirus. Don't panic! Um, it doesn't help anyone. Just keep kind of pushing the colour in and then blending out. You can as well, um, I suggest get a clean brush and do some blending. You don't want anything kind of left on it. I've been using a mixture of kind of a less stiff brush because your tools are important um, and something that's a little bit more kind of densely packed just to fluff out these edges. You can always go back in with a little bit more colour but um, pack some down first, then have a little blend and then see where you need to add more. You don't want to pack on too much to start with and that is kind of the key here. Just taking that on the lower lash line all the way in and connecting this at the corner as well. Notice I've got a little bit of, um, not kind of a full wing, but I am bringing this shape out a little bit. Right, I'm going to leave that there for the time being and I'm just going to spritz a little bit of um, some kind of fixing spray. You could use a little bit of water, mixing medium. Um, I've just used the Revolution Pro Fix. You can use um, Fix Plus, anything like that. And I'm just going to go into this um, pretty green colour with a wet brush. Pop this on the centre. We're leaving the blending um, for now and we'll come back to it in a second when we tie all this together. I feel like this khaki colour is a little bit patchy actually and it's not me. <laughs> well, I hope it's not me. Um, I don't have problems generally with things being patchy. Do you feel like this colour has gone on a little bit patchy? Sometimes some mattes do that. I haven't had that problem before with these um, Viseart palettes though, so it's quite frustrating. I'm just going to take a little bit of this colour underneath this lash line as well. It's really funny, I'm seeing things in my viewfinder that I'm not seeing in my mirror. How weird. But this is why if you um, if you work in TV and film, it's always good to kind of take a photo of your work so you know what it's going to look like when you're filming because things do look very different. I'm then going to go in with this fabulous yellow colour just on this inner corner. Um, and I used a MAC 221 for this. You can um, use something a little bit kind of smaller and stiffer if you prefer. And I'm just going to pop this on the inside and then I will take my finger and pop some colour over the top. I just want to kind of get a little bit of a blend out on that inner corner. Before I really go and put that pop in, if that makes sense. I'm just kind of taking it up into this area. So that we have the colour placement. And then I'm going to take a finger. And a lot of these kind of more metallic colours do go on a little bit better if they are... Um, used with a finger it just makes it pop even more can you see how that colors really kind of come out now now what i'm going to do is really gently just kind of tap and just get the teeniest bit and i'm going to pop that over the center and 
and I'm going to do the same again just ever so slightly to brighten up this kind of green colour now I'm going to pop a load of mascara on I'm first going to curl my lashes a little bit as well I thought I would because this look is quite dark pop a lash on today um, but I don't know whether you can really tell that it's a lash lash if that makes sense um you guys know i'm not a massive fan of lashes i don't think you always need to wear one i think we're seeing a lot of this kind of you know the whole like instagram thing even with a really natural eye people are popping a massive lash on um which is fine if you like that look but um i just find it's a bit of a faff every day but this is quite a dark look so these are the eye law um naturals and as you can see they're a little bit longer at the ends but they are really really natural still they're not a heavy lash at all um, and these are actually really similar to a lash that I used on a friend of mine for her wedding day and I think if you're a working artist I think um, individuals for people that aren't used to wearing lashes are brilliant but also something like that where they're so 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 light the band is really flexible and easy to use they're really easy to apply especially if you've got some nice lash tweezers um, I highly recommend the um, lash unlimited ones but lots of brands do do them and i'll show you those in a second so i'm just layering on some mascara and this is also going to help kind of blend those quite natural lashes into my own lashes the mascara i'm using is a long con one i've got loads of little samples of these hanging around from when i bought like perfume and stuff um, i don't use a lot of that makeup because it's not cruelty free um, but perfume is something that I do kind of buy my mum and stuff so you often get little samples and things and I do actually really like this mascara I think the long mascaras are really nice I'm just kind of upset that they're not kind of cruelty free so I'm just kind of using up ones also these travel sizes are really handy for when I fly and stuff I'm going to take these little lashes and I'm going to use the glue that's in here if not I recommend you um, get the duo glue that is a fantastic glue and then we're going to pop a load along the lash band if this had a little bit of a thicker lash band or it's a thicker lash what i would do first of all is i would just um kind of give the band a little play with because that's just going to help loosen um the band make it more sort of flexible so you can mold it to your eye shape um these are the tweezers that i'm on about these are the lash unlimited ones and you can see it's a kind of a similar shape so i like to grab them like here and then i will look down in the mirror and apply them i'm going to show you how i apply them but a trick to use if you're applying lashes and you really struggle is to wait till they're a little bit tacky um, so I'm just going to wait here for a good couple of minutes actually. I don't think 30 seconds is long enough. I find that actually if you leave them a little bit longer than you think is safe you get an even better kind of placement with a lash. So I'm just going to wait here for a second and we're going to place them on. In a couple of minutes just make sure the glue is nice and dry and you've kind of pressed them in i will go back over with a little bit of mascara just to kind of blend them all in just going to take a completely clean mac 224 and i'm going to go through this section of both eyes actually and just give this a little blend it's really funny i'm seeing things in my viewfinder that i'm not seeing in person okay for the rest of the face i do have my base makeup and my kind of bronzer on already the bronzer i use today is the bondi bronze natural glow loose bronzer this is by nude by nature this is one of my all-time favorite bronzers it's really beautiful blends really seamlessly um doesn't have any glitter or anything in it but it just has like a teeny bit of a sheen. I'll show you again. It's not orange. It's one of these kind of red based bronzes. And this is really nice. What I'm just going to do is probably take my hourglass bronzer um, in the colour luminous bronze light looks like this. And I'm just going to go over the kind of cheek area a little bit with some of this. Just add some more colour into the face. 
For blush, I'm actually going to use something by Collection. This is their Soft Glow Blusher. They're really cheap um, and they are, this is the colour 2 Bashful. Um, it's a, a nice kind of peachy pink colour. Again, the same brush as I just kind of used a little bit on the cheek. I place my blusher quite high. You don't have to do this. Little bit of highlight i'm going to use a angled brush but i'm going to use kind of this side of it i think it deposits less color this is quite a fluffy brush i'm going to use my makeup geek um a kathleen lights one um this is in the color nightlight i think i'm going to use this one just kind of tap When you're applying your highlighter, I do think it's really good to kind of move your face around a little bit, just so you can see where you kind of naturally catch the light. You don't always have to kind of do a stripe down the nose here, all that kind of stuff. For lips, I'm gonna go in with a MAC lipstick. This is in the color Jubilee. This is a luster, so they have a bit of a sheen to them. Um, I would suggest maybe using um, LA Girls um, non-stop nude lip liner with a little bit of lip balm over if you don't want to use a MAC one. Um, that's just kind of what I had to hand. I'm going to use an e.l.f. Um, nude Kiss lip gloss over the top. These are the, not a lip gloss, what is it, like a lip oil? that is the finished look um i really like these video video palettes i have the warm edit and the rose edit as well i think this khaki color was a little bit patchy not gonna lie this, the other shimmers and mattes i have had a little bit of a play with and they have been fine i haven't used really any of these orangey colors but judging by the other palettes that i have that have similar colors in I would expect that these would be fine. Um, I don't know why that khaki was a little bit patchy, but overall these palettes I think are fantastic, especially if you are a pro. Um, they are perfect travel size. They do contain a mirror and they stack really nicely if you have quite a small kit. I have a lot of the eight, pan petite pros as well um i really really like them and they're ones that i travel with often this one is the only one where i've come across an eyeshadow by this brand that has been a little bit subpar i would say but the overall look still came out really nicely um i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and that you are having a nice day wherever you are um again just to touch on the kind of coronavirus stuff um, use this time to spend more time with your kids, um, help each other out, use it as an opportunity to reach out to your neighbours, use it as an opportunity to read that book that you don't have time to. Um, you know, it's it's really going to be a tough time for everyone, I think, financially as well. Um, so if that is you, like myself included, because I'm self-employed, um, you know, support those um, small businesses by ordering takeaway and stuff if you can from your locals so that, um, you know, they're still getting a little bit of business. If you're ordering things online, maybe try and find, again, small independent uh, business owners rather than maybe, you know, using your standard Amazon or ASOS or whatever it is. I encourage you to look out for the people around you that maybe you haven't noticed before and asked if they need help. Um, example of this, my boyfriend went and knocked on his neighbour's door, a couple of the other neighbours had already um, been round to hers and she does have a son but he lives quite far away and so um, it's nice to know that the neighbours in the block are looking after her as she is that little bit older as well. So some of these people do have family around but some of their family is, is not kind of in a in their local area and that just makes things even more tricky um so yeah notice those people perhaps you didn't talk to before check out everyone um that's kind of in and around you to see if they're, they're okay and they need any help 
And as, as I was saying, if you have more spare time, even though I know a lot of us are working from home, um, use that to your advantage. Do those things that you don't normally have time to do. Get creative, do some painting, play with some makeup, read that book that you haven't. And do make sure that you are checking out your government websites, government guidelines and things as well, especially as I was saying, if you're self-employed, um, just for things that you may be entitled to claim financially, um, just maybe do some research into um, whether you're able to get sick pay or you're going to be able to put into a benefit system or receive some kind of payment while you are unable to um, work. So yeah, big love to you all. I hope you're having an okay day wherever you are. Um, let's all stick together and I will see you very soon because I have all the time in the world now. Lots of love. Look after yourselves. Bye.